Hi, my name is Julia. I'm studying health and social care C level transitioning program in the Open Shore campus. So they are preparing you um, for your future, what you want to do at work, and it's really nice because it also prepares you for the skills that you will have to use in the future, and it's really interesting. So at the moment, for example, we are doing safeguarding. Uh, we're talking about uh, procedures and legislations and how uh, we have to protect the service users as well as ourselves while working and or also um, working in health and social care, how uh, putting those procedures in place and in work, basically. The units that we are studying basically is helping us for next year as well as um, for referencing our assignments we are using Harvard style. We don't need, their, we, we don't need it for this year though, but yes for T-levels so they know where the work is coming from and everything. It was really interesting, we talked about how technology can um, affect you in a positive and a negative way and how can impact children and adults and also it can impact you in your work as well and privacy and uh, data protection and everything it was really interesting and really nice when you come from summer you normally don't remember things and you are not used to that routine of going to college and school and everything so it really helped me from going to holiday to go back to normal and having my routine and going back to college so it was really nice so basically uh, for me for talking from my experience I don't have any patients so um, coming to the hospital wards and doing practices um, while lessons is helping me to having that patient with for example um, the patients because we have dolls, so we can um, imagine that they are people, and also like time management and organization is helping. Like they're working with that, so we know in the future how to be organized and how to um, manage our time and decision making as well. How to, um, if we have a problem at work, how we can affront it as professionals. Basically what I love the most about these facilities is that um, they are as if you are working in a hospital or if a care home. So you're getting used to that environment that you're going to be working for a long, long time. And it's really, really nice to have that opportunity. They're talking from experience and um, having have, ha they have worked in that environment for a long, long time. So if they're explaining something related to, um, I don't know, changing the bed for the patients in a hospital, um, they can talk from experience and they've done it before. So they also know the struggle of it because they were where you are now. And talking from the experience, I think that's the best thing they can do to you to learn. They are uh, helping us to start placements so we can also gain that experience for the future and it will be more easy to us to have uh, employment in the industry. So I would advise to um, them to know if they're passionate about it and if they are intrigued to go into it because if you don't know or you don't want to, you're not going to have that passion or interest in doing uh, assignments or work or going lessons. So I would say to know if you actually want to work in health and social care environments in the future. I would say because of the facilities that they provide us and the teachers, I, I love how they do their lessons and how they can talk from experience and years of working in this industry.